What's going on everybody? Eric Barassi here and today I want to give you the guitar solo. I want to give it to you as a gift. The guitar solo for Joe Satriani's uh, latest song. What is this one called? Pumpin'. Uh, okay, so this is the solo section that starts at 138. And uh, a couple of things. Number one, we're going to be tuned down a half step. And number two, make sure you've got a Floyd Rose uh, or something with floating trim, which I'll, I'll switch that out here in, in a minute. Satriani's got uh, like an octave fuzz, very Hendrixy type tone going on. So you want delay, you want distortion, and you want some kind of like a fuzz octave pedal. Now, I'm just going to be demonstrating with straight up distortion on my bridge pickup my Seymour Duncan Invader on my trusty 1990-something uh, Fender Strat, Mexican Strat. Okay, so here we go. At 138, we get this. Now, you want to slide all with one finger. So we're starting at the seventh fret. Make sure your picking hand is muting all the other strings that are not being played, um, and you're only gonna pluck once. And then real strong vibrato there at the end, okay? So then next, we get it to this lick. Yeah, it's, it's hard to mimic that phrasing exactly, but it's, uh, it's like a whole step bend down and then back up into a half step. You might also experiment with like a half to a half or a half to a quarter. And then you kind of whip it at the end. Da -da -da. So you practice getting that really fast. The 12 pull off to 10 and then resolve to the 12. Kind of a classic uh, blues rock lick there. Then we get, um, and by the way, we're, we're in like D minor pentatonic, but down a half step. So now we're using uh, the blue note in that box one. Right, so if you know box one of D minor pentatonic, um, you're gonna now add the blue note. So that 11 and 12. You might trade with just fingers one and two. We've got a trill, and then uh, really quick, which is just hammer-ons and pull-offs back and forth really quickly. Uh, and then sliding down to eight. You could stop at 10 as well real quick before you go to that that aid. It's kind of negligible whether, you know, we're doing that or not. Uh, and then we get this. And then we're going to bring out the harmonic in that 10, and with the whammy bar, I'll do a couple of dips and then a dive, okay? So I'll demonstrate that here on a different guitar in a second. Okay, so here I have my trusty Laguna LE 924. Uh, this is a very rare model now. Uh, I love this guitar. It was uh, inoperable for, for like a year, and I finally just got it worked on and, and back in working order. I broke a string on my Satriani guitar, so that's why I'm not using that one for, for this. But check this out. So when we get to this lick, this guitar is in standard tuning, so I'm going to move down um, a fret. Instead of playing 10-8-10, I'm going to play... Um, what am I going to play? 9-7-9. So... So we got. So you're doing a couple of dips. So you got dip, return, dip, return, and then a slow dive that's happening. And you want to get a harmonic in there if you can. I think he's getting that maybe either from his Sustainiac or just from like the, the fuzz octave overtones that may be coming in because it sounds like just a regular note when he first hits it and then it kind of drives into the octave so I wouldn't worry too much about it you could either go or you could try to hit a pinch harmonic right away on that first note so then we get this quick little like open Right, like kind of dip dive. So you might start with a, a, a pre dip, push the bar down, pluck the third string, and just release it back to regular. Hey, whoop. 
starting position. Hey, whoop. Okay, and then this harmonic is really tricky to, to get. Um, it says 3.2 in the tab, but really it's like high, it's more like 3.8 or 3.7. On the first two strings, you're gonna get that really nasty artificial harmon or natural harmonic. And you wanna start with the bar down and then yank up on it. And then also try to mute the thicker strings with your picking hand palm when you do that. You can experiment doing it on the other strings as well. Or doing the Satriani thing with an artificial harmonic on an open string. Right, kind of like that. But you gotta do the mouth thing too. Okay, so that's kind of what's happening there with the, the whammy bar stuff. So let me, let me see if I can put that a little bit together. Okay, I totally botched that, but hopefully you kind of get the idea of how he's getting those weird sounds there. After the dive bombs, we get this back into box one of D minor pentatonic, a slow bend on 13 on the second string. Okay, so slowly bend up to pitch and then hit it a couple more times, add some vibrato at will. Then we get this cool blues lick. All right, so nice quarter step bend. Right, and remember with a quarter step bend, you always wanna do uh, like you hit the pitch and then uh, very quickly whip it at the end. You don't do the bend right away. It's more like, kinda like that. And then same thing at the very end, we have that quarter step bend on 10, okay? So there it is, slow. Uh, next, we get this like uh, triad um, uh, substitution, super, super imposition something. We're playing a an A flat uh, major triad over... Uh, a, like a D power chord. So that is, it's like a jazzy thing where you go up, um, uh, you go up a flat five from your root and then you play a major triad. I think, I think that's where that comes from. So here we've got the A flat triad. And then again, and then the octave. Root third fifth, root third fifth octave. You can also play it like this. Uh, you can try that. You can also try it this way. So there's a few different ways to do it. For me, the way I liked doing it was like that. Okay, now we get into kind of the final run of the solo, which uh, this is the fast part. And we're going to talk about what's going on here afterwards. But check it out. Here, here it is. Let me see if I can play this. Okay, okay, there it is. So let me play it slow. And that's it, that's the end of the solo. So what's happening is it sounds very exotic, sounds almost like harmonic minor. All it is, is a D minor pentatonic blues scale. Okay, so check this out. Here's our root note D. Um, we're starting on the flat five, up to the regular five, and then back to the minor third. So we have flat five, five, flat five, minor third. It just has a very exotic sound because we're skipping the four. Um, and then we're gonna slide down to the major second, which makes it just like kind of D, regular D minor, right? And then, ah, there's that four. Now this 12 on the first string sounds like a quarter step bend. I don't know how he's getting that unless there's one other way we could attempt to play this, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. But it, I'm just kind of skipping that quarter step bend. Um, 
Aha, and now here we have our raised six. So this makes it D Dorian. So we're really doing like a D Dorian blues scale here. And then here's that blue note again. And then there's our minor third and our, uh, our ninth or our major second. Root, flat seven, and resolve, right? So all of those intervals, if you, if you figure out what's happening there, um, it's, it's really just uh, D Dorian blues, okay? So. I bet something up there. Anyway, okay, so the other way you might try it is like this. So, right, so that 12 on the first string becomes... 17 on the second string. That might be how he did it. So I ended up preferring kind of the first way, but you might experiment with that way as well. Okay, cool. So that is the solo to Joe Satriani's uh, Pumpin'. It's not really complex to play, but the, the phrasing is pretty advanced and meticulous. All right, guys, if you dug this, be sure and like and subscribe. I've got several other Satriani videos, and I have a feeling he's going to release one more single before the album. I'll transcribe that, too. Let me know if you want me to do the outro riff and outro solo to pump him. I don't want to put in all the time and the work if, and, unless that's something the people really demand. And uh, also in general, yeah. So let me know, what would you like to, to see? I'll see you next time.